fall. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Can you guys see our Christmas tree right there? Well, first of all, let me say this. I know I haven't posted for a while. Guys, let me give you guys a little story. Okay, this video might be long, but I'm not trying to make it long. If you think that life is tough and you're going through a roller coaster up and down and be like, oh, you're the only one going through this little crisis, no, it's not. Know that someone else is going through the same crisis but in a different genre or in a different, uh, what should I say, lifetime zone or location, okay? But no matter how hard things get, no matter how hard you think they are, always don't forget that it gets better. It gets very better. It takes time to heal, but literally it gets better, okay? So, I'm just gonna give you guys just a little tiny tea that happened. Well, I know I still haven't posted the video for my pole dancing yet. I'm still working on it. And secondly, we went on vacation and I'm gonna post that along with the whole entire pool thing. But before I get into that, let's talk about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is coming, right? Which is Thursday and I'm not gonna post on Thursday. So the next video you guys will see, it might not be Thanksgiving clothes or ideas. So for today, I'm just gonna go around, I mean, go here and tell you guys literally a different way of what I think when it comes to Thanksgiving. When I was growing up back in Guinea, I think I always say this every year. We never grew up celebrating Thanksgiving. We celebrated Christmas, New Year. New Year is the most popular thing that's celebrated in Guinea, not Thanksgiving, but when you move to a different place and then people are doing different cultures right there, you get to adapt to it, especially when you have a little toddlers. We have nephew and nieces that's growing up with this whole entire American lifestyle. So at some point you have to give in to give them the lifestyle that they are seeing here. Now what we saw when we were growing up. So we get to celebrate Thanksgiving because of that. And you know, when it comes to family Thanksgiving, it's different from workers or uh, friends Thanksgiving okay most people don't have family to celebrate Thanksgiving with they have friends or co-workers and which is perfectly fine whomever that you feel comfortable of sharing your moment the grateful moments in your life to share with is always the most important thing it don't matter if they are friends or co-workers or family the little thing that you guys share to come at that point to actually be grateful for that's the main important thing right so into further ado these are some first first of all <laughs> This is some, like, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving with family, you know, when you're celebrating with family, you don't really don't want to go all of the above, unless if you're one of those one, you know, that want to be, yes, 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 all of it, then fine. You know, when you're family, you want to wear something comfortable, because at the end of the day, you get to eat and stay home. You're not going anywhere. You're just going to stay home, and then maybe end up cleaning up after the mess that you guys made. You see so dress with something very simple but also warm because during thanksgiving our weather here get a little cold but not too cold but a little cold so wear something similar like this but comfortable at the same time and at the end of the day you don't have to put on makeup it's just you and families just you and family that's all that is about something that you feel comfortable in something that you literally feel yourself in and you guys can make fun of each other at the end of the day it really don't matter like that because those are families if family don't make fun of you who's going to make fun of you of course other people will make fun of you but it's funny when family does it while you are sitting there you guys laughed along there's this stupid fly here so the second thing is i also added some like if you're celebrating thanksgiving with co-workers you guys are going either to a friend house or a restaurant these are some of the I think, idea that I go and I end up adding this Christmas vibe to it. But a little, you know, something very sexy but cute. At the same time, don't wear stuff that are too tight. Because when you go and go to food or get food from whomever you're celebrating Thanksgiving with, you're going to eat at the end of the day. Your stomach is going to be a little bit. And when it does and you have something very tight, it's a little bit uncomfortable for you actually to breathe in it and try to stay look sexy. So wear something that's little loose but not too loose and if you eat you still have some room for your stomach to actually breathe and for you to be able to enjoy the night without being a little embarrassed or trying to talk in your stomach the whole time does that make sense <laughs> i think that makes sense so that's what i have for you guys for thanksgiving i hope you guys enjoy this thanksgiving and like i said from the beginning if you think life is tough it's not tough so let me give you guys a little break on what happened first 
I lost my car key, my whole entire house car key. And I have to actually get someone to make an, make a copy for me, which costs about $500. And in total, mom ended up making extra uh, spare key for me. So it was almost around 900 Thinking everything is smooth, everything is fine. Okay. But no, 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 no. Yesterday, this is what happened to my car. Yes. <laughs> I got the key literally a couple of days. Not even four days, like three days, four days. It's four days. And this is what happened to my car. This. So if you think you're going through a rough time and you don't even want me to get started from the beginning of whatever happening, but this, this is. No, that is not rough. Okay. But no matter what, like I said earlier, no matter what, no, that is going to get better. Whatever happened in the lifetime, it happened for a reason. And also, holidays are here. I should be sad, but no, I'm not sad. I am a little sad, but a little disappointed. Okay? I feel like, why is it happening to me when the year is about to be done? Why me? But you know what? It is what it is. And I embrace it. And it's coming. I'm going to be away. Come on. Whatever that comes in the way, I'm going to embrace it. So enjoy your thanksgiving no matter how tough things get no matter how hard everything is know that someone is going through worse than you maybe my situation right now might not be worse it might be worse for someone else so at the end of the day be grateful and since thanksgiving is about being appreciated and thankful and be grateful to whomever that you're celebrating with and i'm gonna now celebrate it with you guys but i'm gonna tell you guys in advance happy thanksgiving i am grateful and thankful and very appreciated of all the kind love and support you guys have shown me even though i haven't post you guys are still here to support me that's the loyalty to the family and that's what i really really want to sit here and say happy thanksgiving in advance and i'm so grateful and thankful for you guys being here even though if i don't post you guys are still here watching my video sharing my video knowing that life is tough by the end of the day if i can get through it you guys whatever it is i'm going through is gonna get better we'll see you guys on saturday and be safe be very careful guys holiday season everything is literally crazy please be careful out there please be fashionable as well don't forget it's gonna be cold and be in your own comfort zone that's all i have for you guys i love you guys so much enjoy your feast with your family eat food for me too <laughs>